new TV censorship in Iran, no women eating pizza. <laughs> so this was like a, excuse me? <laughs> um, on September 27th, the head of the public relations of the state-controlled media company, uh, the Islamic Republic of Iran Broadcasting, or IRIB, disclosed perplexing information through his personal Instagram. It is important to note that the IRIB controls all broadcast media, including television, radio, and cinematic releases within the country. His statement referred to a recent audit performed by the IRIB, which resulted in a new broadcast directive. This audit prohibits the depiction of men pouring tea for women in the workplace. Women are also not allowed to be shown on screen eating pizza, sandwiches, drinking red beverages, or wearing leather gloves. To ensure compliance with these new directives, all TV programs must be reviewed by the IRIB before being broadcast. These are very oddly specific. Are, are, is there any explanation for, by the way, this, this cover that we have is not like good representation because this woman has a lot of bigger problems with Iranian TV than just a pizza. Like she's this is an alcoholic. <laughs> like, I don't know who picked the cover. But first of all, she doesn't have an hijab. So she will definitely not be on TV. You can see her body, like the curves on her body. You can see her, her. And, and she's drinking alcohol. Like, I think the pizza would be the last thing on the list that they would get to. Um, I mean, these things are not allowed. So by the way, guys, we're not saying women in Iran can't eat pizza. We're saying that the current censorship is that they can't, you can't show them on TV eating pizza. But why? Why, Susie? Explain. Okay, that is not understood. Uh -huh. So I was thinking, like, I don't know, for certain foods, you would immediately get it. It's like, okay, women aren't allowed to be shown eating bananas, like licking ice cream. Like, these are foods with, like, blatant sexual innuendos that I feel like are very expected to be censored in a freaking Islamic Republic, okay? <laughs> but the pizza, now the pizza is not a food I associate with sexual imagery at all. Like maybe the eating sandwiches, like if it's like a sub, a, like a submarine sandwich, but yeah, this was like bizarre to me. I can only assume it's like, cause you have to open your mouth so wide to eat it. Um, but then like the, no men can't be show, be seen pouring them tea in the workplace. Mm. Like, yeah, that's so specific. And that I, was I get though. Is that this I like a, a, a cultural thing where it's like, this is, an innuendo for something else going on. This is the battle between the uh, culture that is prevalent in Iran and the culture that the government wants people to have. Um, like a lot of Iranian people and you know, women in Iran have a lot higher roles in family and in society than Islamic standards would like. Right. And, you know, People say, like, in Iran especially, you know, in Iran, like, women are considered, like, sometimes there's a lot of white knighting going on, to be honest, <laughs> okay? But, 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 like, you know, the Islamic standards is, like, women should be obedient, they should be, like, their role, you know. I mean, just having a man pouring tea for a woman would be just such a, reversal of the role of where women should be in a society and where men should be mm. in a society and just normalizing that like oh let me pour you some tea and like just having that on tv and making that something it, it does seem like an attack on social norms and standards that the government would prefer right so i could see why would they would ban that but red drinks is that like what uh, letter gloves i get letter gloves are are sexy Right, <laughs> like people could see, like okay, that's sexy. Come on, that is sexy. You can't deny that. You can't just wear it with a glove. They're like, is this is not sexy? You're a pervert. No, okay. 
it's objectively sexy. All right. So, but red pizza and red drinks, I would, I would, just, is ice cream on the list? Because there was a recent ad on Iranian TV that got so controversial because it was too sexy. An ice cream ad. Do you want me to show it? Oh, that'd be so good. Okay. I have no idea. So ice cream wasn't on this list, but like maybe it already was on one previously. But from um, what I was reading from uh, Iran Wire, um, they they didn't have anything included in that, uh, like that. Oh, <laughs> so Wait. this is below. We also have a video of, um, I think this is from 2019, some footage that went viral. This just also kind of shows like wow. the, the Iranian censorship where they, um, for women's sports, they put these like floating moving asterisks like to cover their whole body or um it's theoretically i guess supposed to be for like showing skin but then wait until oh you, you did <laughs> i was gonna, you know they're before, running before... too fast for the sensor you know you're an athlete when you with iranian sensors can't catch you you know you're good at your to do <laughs> this is the... <laughs> You know, you have made it in being an athlete when like Iranian sensors, like it's just hard. It's just too, you're too fast for them, lady. You're too fast for them. Because I was going to say like, wow, this takes a lot of talent, like the Iranian sensors, because I might actually feel bad for the people who are working at the Iranian TV because like their job is like, I'm, I, is, are they going to get fired if they can't catch this? Right. And you're like, oh no, she's jumping it, because this, these are live, right? These are being shown live and you have to make sure you censor it and you like <laughs> what's gonna are you gonna if you like let too much skin show on national tv um is there gonna be consequences are you gonna lose your job and you know so so this one was pretty good like good job wait, wow look just at wait this. until you see the hurt yeah. wait wait until you see but, the women running hurdles okay but the next one you're like she was too fast okay like oh no lady please slow down i'm gonna lose my job <laughs> <laughs> the black box following her over yeah <laughs> oh no <bar>. wow <laughs> oh look at this <laughs> this is the entire team oh no the entire <laughs> field just blacked out and this one like oh no did she slow down should she get she gets her own star because she's like not with the rest no, no, of no. them just wait just wait okay okay oh no no <laughs> This is too good. Oh no. <laughs> and then they put Whoa, the, look at the, when they put the little the little bars on it for each limb. The, the hands are too sexy. Your hands are too sexy. It needs to be covered. Look at this. Oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's so oh, insane. Okay, okay. Wait, give me more. This is too good. Oh wow! Apparently the feet are allowed. These people and don't the know. And the hair. Oh well, I mean, yeah, but hair—they're saying like they don't cover the hair on TV. Like we had, they—you have to cover your hair in public. It's mandatory. But like we as we watch TV series with women, and their hair showing—that's not—that's not censored. I thought in Iran, yeah, no. Oh, well, now I remember we covered the news when hijab becomes mandatory for cart like cartoon women. That's now a thing. Yeah. Okay, maybe. But, but like, oh, wow, look at half of this. I can see half of <laughs> this is not doing You a good can job. still see that booty. <laughs> no. Yeah, but no, like in Iran, we watch like Fr French TV series, um, British TV series, Japanese TV series. And only if women had like the revealing clothes that was censored. But if their hair was not uh, that we the hair was not censored. Okay, but look, okay, this is she's gonna die. What's the point? Woo! Whoa! <laughs> what's the point of even showing this then? Like, just don't yeah. show it. Oh, <laughs> this guy was like, I'm tired to censor. I'm just gonna block half of the screen. <laughs> it's like, so wild. Yeah. Uh, wait. What's wrong with this one? People are covered. This is men's. What's going, what's wrong with this one? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. This is these are men, so it shouldn't be an issue. Oh, what the hell? Why did it? <laughs> I don't get what's happening. Anyways, I want to show you the ice cream. 
I want yeah. to show you the ice cream one. Okay, okay. So this is this is the ice cream one. Read the oh, read the title. Oh, decadent oh. ice cream ad sparks hysteria in Iran. This was on Iran's TV. This one was like on TV and ad. Let me show you the video. And this was oh, like I oh, can already see why. <laughs> yeah, this got so like people were like. There, I, I remember so many religious Iranians on t Twitter saying, like, this is proof that our society has just gone, <laughs> you know, it's it's like the, the depravity, the, the, this, like everything is falling apart. The sky is falling. Like, this is proof that the Islamic Republic of Iran cannot control um, all the destruction that is being coming down proof upon us. Proof that we're in the right? end times. <laughs> yeah yeah so like this was this was should i put the sound for this uh there might okay. be music oh shit. Oh, you're right you're right i'm not gonna put okay so i'm not gonna put the music uh, uh sound because of the so this There's is woman too sexy. driving in a car she's yes. driving driving through this some is... hills she's wearing red she comes to a little plateau she parks the car Oh, she pulls out a chocolate bar. This Whoa. was too much. This is chocolate too sexy. Ice cream. That was it. Ooh. This is the part. This is the part that they have. Everybody had an issue. And she with. she bites into the chocolate ice cream bar. It's she looks like yeah, the the fact that she looked like she's having an orgasm. I mean, it does look yes. really good. <laughs> yeah. So this was a huge. This oh was huge. Gosh. This was this was a. And there huge, she is, just eating this ice cream bar in the wild. What a this got, <laughs> <laughs> This got a major, major backlash in Iran. Okay, before we go, before we move on, I do want to try to guess. So the letter glove, I get it. The T part, I get it. I mean, I don't accept. You know, obviously it's ridiculous, but I get what their what their perspective is. But with the pizza and the red drinks, I don't even get their perspective. So if you could help me out with that, the red drinks you're, really stumped me. Like, you're the you're the Shia me. here. Well, is it? I was thinking like, is it because it's the thing like it looks like blood? Like, I was trying to think if this is had it blue? anything to do. Know. No, it's wine. It's wine. It could be like like they could. Oh, I I got it. I the got innuendo it because, that it could be the, no yeah, be, because in Iran okay because the t the TV series and movies they always try to suggest something, but then if they get caught by the government, they were like, well, it's not that obviously. Like there's sometimes they suggest something sexual happened, but when they like the police comes after them or the air shot gets you know whatever the ministry comes after them we're like no no you are that's you you are thinking that we were suggesting that it's not okay. sex you're the pervert <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so you I just told on the, yourself <laughs> so i think what the directors would try to do is try to show like people in their home and stuff when they're drinking to put red drinks to suggest they're having wine but not say that this is wine because we know in iran people have wine at their home and especially higher class upper class people uh, would be having wine and they want to show that that these are like rich people enjoying wine together or something like that but they would if but they would probably just use red drink and never say it's wine i think that's i got it i got it I, a pizza i still don't get but the red drink i got it i think the red drink i got it um the only thing that i can think of with pizza is one either the like having your mouth open to eat it or if it's pepperoni like that has pork what? in it Okay, so there's obviously not going to suggest. <laughs> obviously, there's no pepperoni in Iran. Okay, so that's not an issue. I think I think it could be an use an excuse for because like for somebody to struggle with the pizza and just basically make her like cute, <laughs> make, come up with a cutesy scene of like her mouth open. Oh my god! Know. All this cheese is <laughs> all over my face. <laughs> no, because a lot of people try to get around the censors by making her making attractive women do like some silly things some playful things that is not sexual but people might be like oh my gosh she's that's kind of like adorable like they, they put women in positions to do stuff like this in movies that is not at all sexual but people would look like it it would like that's hot you know or that's funny or that's cute or that's adorable right 
And I think like maybe pizza could be used as something like that. Uh, maybe I, I'm just guessing. I have no idea. I'm just putting, trying to put my mind into it. But you're the Shia, so you should know these things. I, don't know. <laughs> I think you're such a genius for coming up with the wine thing. That makes so much more sense. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, okay, let's uh, move on. Sorry, I took too much time on this one because it's a fun... It was no, kind of this funny. was good. Yeah, I'll try to spend less time on the rest. No, um, good. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Like Soha is saying, maybe the pizza and the mouth opening looks like um, oral. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it can be used just like ice cream. I think like they don't let let you do anything eating. I don't think they would let you sh uh, show them eating a banana. I think ice cream is off the menu ever since that ad. I think pizza could also be used for like some suggestions. Anyways, I don't know. Um, can I we? I never thought of it for... that way, and I'll never look at pizza the same. <laughs> Or but leather gloves. A lot of people in the live chat are saying that they're going to go eat pizza because of all of this. If you do that, make sure you make it as sexual as you possibly can. Like, <laughs> think, just make the spirit of this law actually make sense somehow. Hey, guys. If you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below. <laughs> 